tight new gun laws in California are supposed to help law enforcement trace bullets back to the bad guys, but instead it's driving out businesses like Smith & Wesson. So what's really going on? Joining us with his take is firearm attorney representing the National Rifle Association in California and the author of California Gun Laws, Chuck Michelle. Chuck, thanks very much for uh, joining us at, uh, let's see, 415 out there in Los Angeles. It's a bit early. Thanks for having me. Uh, uh, given that the legislature is in session as a Second Amendment lawyer, I don't sleep very well anyway, so it's a <laughs> pleasure to get up for you guys. Well, I know you're not sleeping well uh, over this micro stamping. So what they're doing out in California is they're asking gun manufacturers to make sure that the guns micro stamp a bullet. Explain how that uh, works and what would it do? Well, micro stamping is a la laser etching process that that. Uh, etches tiny little numbers, microscopic numbers, onto parts of a firearm, most notably the firing pin, so that when a semi-automatic pistol is fired, the, the theory is that the, those numbers will be transferred onto a cartridge case uh, for, of ammunition, and when the cartridge case is ejected from the semi-automatic pistol, those little microscopic numbers can be recovered by police at a crime scene and traced back to the gun and ultimately, in theory, traced okay. back to the, the shooter. The problem is that the, the process doesn't work. Never mind that you'd have to create all these databases and collect all this information to connect those dots from the crime scene back to a shooter. The actual micro stamping, the imprinting technology does not work. We've got a UC Davis study, a National Academy of Sciences studies, lots of peer-reviewed studies. Even the, the inventor of the technology concluded that this is not a, a process that's ready for, for, prime, for prime, sure. prime. So and it's not surprising that manufacturers are refusing to, to spend the millions of dollars they'd have to spend to incorporate it into their manufacturing process. Sure, and that's one of the reasons Smith & Wesson, Wesson, as uh, one of the companies, is getting out of California, not going to uh, sell those particular kinds of guns there. But you say right. that if it were to go into effect there in California, it would be really easy for the bad guys to get around this. Yeah, it's, it's a simple process. First of all, the, the, the little microscopic etchings wear off just from normal wear and tear from, on the firearm. And you can replace a firing pin very easily. Barring that, uh, you know, criminals aren't real smart, but you don't have to be very smart to figure out that all it takes to take those little numbers off is a file. I got this at a hardware store for $1.99 yesterday. That's all it takes to defeat micro-stamping technology, just file right. those little numbers off. Well, you know, some have said out there in California they wanted an outright ban and they couldn't get it, so this is the next best thing. What do you say to that? Yeah. Uh, this is exactly that. The, California is the petri dish for ill-conceived gun control laws. Uh, they 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 met or, never met a gun control law they didn't like. So it, politicians love opportunities to restrict your, the people's rights to be able to choose to own the most effective gun for self-defense or for sport. Uh, and this is just the latest effort to restrict the the the, the, the ability to choose a firearm for those sure. for those reasons. It, right. And, and, the, the, and, and, and this the, problem now is. And, and you just touched on the thing right there. Uh, it becomes a personal safety thing. How are people going forward going to defend their families in some cases? Exactly. You're deprived of that choice. And it's worse than people expected, including the gun manufacturers, because originally we thought it would only apply to guns made after 2014. But it turns out that the state regulators have decided that under the law, even models that were made before 2014, if they have any minor little improvement, and manufacturers routinely make little refinements and improvements to their model guns, their existing right. model guns, even though they don't change the model number, but the regulators say that constitutes a new model and so has to be oh. retested and reapproved to be sold. That's and, and they can't be approved to be sold unless they have micro stamping. So hundreds of guns, the Smith and Wessons, the Rugers, have fallen off the list of guns that are approved to be sold in this state, and hundreds more are going to in the coming weeks. There's going to be a problem with all the major manufacturers because they all do those little refinements. Right. And, and in California, California, it makes they, the guns better. But it's going to be I very expensive and people won't be as safe, and, that, and that's a problem. Chuck Michelle, we thank you very much for joining us today from Los Angeles with your file. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. All right. What do you think about that? Email us, friends at foxnews.com. Crazy, right?